up Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track by an act named 4IV titled Into the Black. And if we switch over to here we've got ourselves the video on the screen we're going to listen through this song from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Oh we got the heartbeat there that's cool. I wonder what else we're going to have. True, true, true. Cool. Nice wishy kind of rise that they're coming with these guitars, bass, and drums. Coinstantiating that cool musical motif. It's kind of got that kind of grungy rock kind of vibe though, doesn't it? I like the sound of that bass in the mix. And she's kind of giving me like a late 80s, early 90s kind of thrash kind of vibe. It's got a roughness and a rawness that I kind of appreciate. It makes it sound more authentic. Those you want never free. I like the way that we've produced and done the, you know, had the effects channel in our vocals. It's really nice, you know. Um, it's nice and present in the mix. The EQing is like a, what is it, a high pass filter or something like that. That, that allows it just to, to, to stay above there and, and everything's stacked really nicely in the frequency spectrum. So you just steal all that you need. Into the black, you get caught and hit the ground, into the black. It doesn't sound like you're going to have a particularly good time if you mess with these dudes, eh? We're headed into the black. We live and deal in life, it wears you out. Low social standards leaves no doubt. You're doing well, making bank. But you get caught, thrown in the tank. Into the black. Ah, right, so we're talking about, oh, you might be thinking you're doing well, but the moment that we catch you, you're in for some serious trouble. I get it, into the black. Cool. Nice, uh, that was a really smooth transition into that bridge section there and going into the hook line of into the black there. We're not messing around, eh? It's catchy, right? Nice repetition of the vocal melodies there. Got that kind of wishy kind of like almost like a window is that a how would you describe that that must be a foley effect right nice panning of that around the stereo field it's kind of giving me a judas priest kind of vibe from the vocals at this point eh? that high frequency spectrum it just helps you just completely avoid a lot of the bass and the guitar and the other instruments in the, in the mid to lows well, that's a gritty guitar solo isn't it Nice harmonica melodic minor there. This world's a time bomb, yes indeed it is. So loot the flag, thank God we're free. Take a knee. Yeah, that idea of chaos and people just trying to support themselves and taking advantage of others, it's not very pleasant, isn't it? I'm glad that we've got music that's talking about this, regardless of how you sort of feel about the situation. You know, innocent people get involved in it, it's pretty, pretty horrendous, you know? Eat the ground, burn the flag, beat you down into the black. Oh, burn the flag, beat you down into the black. Oh, oh, I see where we're going with this. Into the black. I just love how supportive the drummer is, you know? He has these fills occasionally, but he's keeping those eighth note grooves strong. Just so that the guitar and bass and the vocals have something to sort of sit on and feel confident about. And these halftime bits are a nice change from what we had in the chorus. Okay, I mean, Into the Black by 4IV. Shot and edited by Roger Guzman. Cool, I'm happy with that. 
I'm happy with that. There we go, I got the uh, title of the song here. Because this is the conclusion for Into the Black by 4 IV. I think this song is talking about um, people in authority or people in positions of power who um, take advantage of their position and maybe misappropriate it. And it's saying that if you we catch you, you'll get thrown into the black, that there'll be punishments for that. Talking about the world is a time bomb and stuff like that, the chaos that is ensuing from the different actions that are being made, you know? Again, like whatever side of the spectrum on, it's a bit it's a bit of a mess to put it to put it mildly and i understand why people are making songs like this you know i i don't think that that was shoved down your throat or anything like that but the guy the singer was clearly passionate about it the intensity of that performance kind of reminded me of early anthrax stuff it was um again great to have those distorted guitars of the bass and drums kind of following him it was nice to have the vocalist go up into his upper ranges and that there requires a reasonable understanding of vocal technique which you know came off it was a really interesting performance like to be brutally honest with you I, I had a great time listening to this track i can appreciate the musicality and the musicianship on display there I, I think that we had enough there i think that it was good that we had the guitar solo in that later section there as well as some halftime parts where you could sort of have just a variation of some of the coloration that we've had within the harmony up until that point with those um, power chords, although it was nice to have those harmonized like thirds and stuff happening in the upper reach there of the guitar. Really, I think this is homage to a lot of like rock and middle bands from the 80s and early 90s and stuff. And I think it was done tastefully. And I think that there was a great chemistry between the musicians involved in this. They clearly were comfortable playing together. Um, it was a live performance and I, I thoroughly appreciate that. The last thing I want to hear from this kind of music is people time aligning and trying to sort of make it perfect. perfect. It's kind of sad when that occurs. You know, the structure it was that kind of verse, chorus, verse, chorus kind of groove there with, an, with, a, with, with bridges in between. And then you had the, of course, the interlude with the solo there. So it was fairly straightforward. And we got a lot. There was a lot that happened in three minutes, you know. It's not like we were left wanting afterwards. Yeah, the main musical motifs were catchy and they synced, were synced well with the hook lines. And I never, nothing ever felt stale. We didn't need more than what was shown or provided by the instrumentalists involved. Although I'm sure it'll be fun to like be able to watch this and listen to this track live. I mean, it was a well shot video. I don't usually talk about the music videos within this, but there was clearly like an agenda they were going for in this. And again, whether or not you agree with it, I, I still nonetheless appreciate the effort involved. I, I suppose finally, in regards to the recording, mixing and mastering and the production overall in general, I'm quite happy with what I heard there. You know, it sounds, it sounds reasonably professional. I think that, um, you know, I, I'm not, I, there's things that I would have personally changed, but at the same time, I think that for the sound they were going for, with that angst and that kind of like, uh, kind of ass assertion and the kind of the tenacity that they were attempting to display there, the prominence of the sort of, sort of don't sort of screw with me kind of vibe they were going for with the into the black kind of stuff. The tone of the music with the kind of gritty kind of moody textures made a lot of sense. You know, the vocals again were very bright in contrast to a lot of the other instruments, but I think that was a deliberate choice on their part. And I don't hold them for that. I think it's a great idea. Ultimately, um, it was nice and loud without pumping. The EQing it, like the wishy stuff with the stereo field as well going around. And there was a bit, there was creativity in the post-production as well as within the, the songwriting and the, the performance itself. All in all, Into the Black by 4AV is a well-written song. Um, and I, I wish, and well-performed as well and well-recorded. And I wish Into the Black the best of luck in future with their musical endeavors. But yeah, effectively, this is my review of 4AV's Into the Black. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show 4IV some love via the various social medias and uh, the YouTube page and they're also on Facebook. Stay cool and stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as need the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I'll catch you in the next review. Spot hands up.